this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. This time we are wrapping up the Circle Undone campaign with Calvin Wright. We are playing the Before the Black Throne scenario, which is the last scenario in this campaign. So, uh, last time we managed to get one experience from the Clutches of Chaos scenario, which isn't a lot, so let's see what we upgraded into the deck. So uh, with the one experience I added one Devil's Luck in and removed a hiding spot from the deck. Uh, in this scenario hiding spot is pretty much useless. There are only a few enemies and uh, those enemies that uh, spawn, like the cultists, we really want to kill because they add doom to Azatot. So that is why I removed the hiding spot. Other than that, the deck is uh, quite the same as before. So let's head into the scenario. Uh, I've already set up the scenarios uh, setup. So we have the play area and uh, the empty space is represented by the player cards that are uh, red uh, backed and there are two cosmos locations and one of those is the uh, location we are trying to find uh, when we get to the right uh, location we can advance and also uh, I messed up counting how many tally marks we had in the uh, end of the last scenario. I think I counted six, but I missed that I wasn't able to take the one resolution where we asked Annette for help or Sanford for her help. That is why I only have four tally marks, which is usually plenty. I, I usually have don't have problems with the tally marks and they are plentiful until the end. Also, we didn't add a minus four in the chaos bag, and I removed that from the bag before uh, setting up the game. So yeah, uh, the objective is to find the black drone and keep Asatot from waking up. So let's see how we do. Let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. As usual, I have pre-shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. So we get the... I've had it first. Two Reckless Assaults, Five of Pentacles, and Terrorist Keepsake. So I think I will uh, mulligan all of this. So we draw four more cards. Okay. Uh, nice, we get the meat cleaver, Miss Doyle. <laughs> Lucky Miss Doyle is in, in the locations there. Uh, one hiding spot and one sharp vision. So those will help us a lot to get started with getting the clues and uh, getting the cosmos locations into play. Let's uh, just shuffle these mulligan cars back into the deck and get started. So, uh, I think first action I'll play down Miss Doyle. Second action I'll get one resource. Yep, let's check which cat we get. I think I really would like to get the one that lets us investigate better, but let's see. Uh, we get seal. Uh, okay, so we fight better. That's okay too. And we shuffle these two into the deck. And yeah, second action was to get a resource, and the third action is to lay down the meat cleaver, so we have a weapon to deal with possible enemies. Uh, no enemy base, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get run for your life, and we gain one resource. So that was the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. 
we add a doom to the agenda. Uh, the agenda has a threshold of four doom. Uh, encounter Cardis. <laughs> of course, it is the mindless dancer right at the start. Something I wouldn't want to see this uh, fast. So it spawns at the farthest empty uh, space. I think we'll just spawn it here. Okay. Well, what should we do? Uh, I think I'll investigate and commit sharp vision to the test. Uh, I'm investigating 7 versus 2. And we are hoping to hit uh, plus uh, over two, so we get to close. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, minus four. Uh, so we succeed, but we only succeed by one, so we get one clue. That's unfortunate. Mm, second action. I think I'll. Uh, winging it and investigate again. It's a zero, uh, so we get a clue. And last action, I'll just investigate again. Uh, we can't avoid getting hit by that mindless dancer, and that's uh, unfortunate, but I think we'll just need to have to kill it. Uh, okay, so investigating, it's an elder sign, and uh, actually, uh, the mindless dancer will hit us for two damage and one horror. I think I'm okay taking the damage, but I'll heal one horror. Yeah, so we get the clue. And that's the end of the investigation phase. Uh, we go to enemy phase, so the mindless dancer uh, hunts for one, and because it's uh, hunting uh, in empty space, uh, we resolve the hunter keyword again. So it hunts to us, engages us and hits us for two damage, which I'll take on myself and one horror and yeah and that's it so we go to upkeep uh, we draw a card and it's another sharp vision and actually we forgot to Oh yeah, this, this was the first turn, so we'll add clues to three here at the end of the round. So we can really get a decent amount of clues here, but I think I, if I remember correctly, we lose the clues when we advance, so we can't stay here and get clues for too long. I think we have enough to get past the board, but yeah, uh, that is that turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. We add another doom, and the encounter card is uh, ultimate chaos. Test willpower four. If you fail, attach ultimate chaos to Azatov. If you fail by two or more, take one damage and one horror. If you fail by three or more. Ultimate Chaos gains search, cannot be cancelled. And if there are three copies of Ultimate Chaos attached to Azathoth, discard them and either place one Doom on Azathoth or Azathoth attacks each investigator in place. Player order cannot be cancelled. Uh, we have nothing to commit to this test, so we're just testing 4 vs 4, hoping for the best. It's an Elder Sign. So we pass. That was lucky. 
Uh, now, do we want to heal? Yeah, I'll heal one horror. Because we are hitting with the meat cleaver, so we need some horror soap. So, first action. Uh, I'll take one horror and hit with the meat cleaver. To, I'll hit the mindless dancer. So, uh, we are plus two with the meat cleaver. And yeah, so we are eight versus six. It's a zero. Uh, we deal two damage. And we'll take another horror and try again. Uh, hit again. Uh, so eight versus six again. So it's the third Elder sign, I'll heal one horror, and we'll hit and deal two damage. Last action, uh, yeah, I'll take the horror. Actually, there's no point in taking the horror. I'll use, uh, forgot about seal, so I'll use seal, so we surely will hit this last time. Uh, I'm hitting 11 versus, I mean, I'm hitting, uh, yeah, I'll just use this, so I'm hitting 11 versus 6, it's a 0, so we managed to kill off the mindless dancer, but that's our, our whole turn, but still, uh, and it's not even a victory point uh, enemy, so it goes into the discard, but at least we got rid of it. No enemy face, we go to upkeep, uh, we draw one card, and we gain one resource. Okay, so that is that turn. Um, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 3 Doom of 4, so I think we'll really need to start moving. Uh, come to Cardis. Acolyte. Uh, Acolyte spawns here. Uh, just put it here. So I think we don't have enough time maybe to go and kill it. Mm. So I will spend one clue and uh, reveal that top card of the Cosmos deck. It's a cosmic gate. Uh, connect to any reveal location in a direction of your choice. So I'll connect it to here. And this gets shuffled into my deck. After your, you enter a cosmic gate, you must either spend one clue or take one clue. There's one clue there, and a shroud of one. Uh, I think I will take the horror. Actually, yeah, I'll take the horror. That was the first action. Uh, second action, I'll spend two clues. Actually, I spent just one clue. Uh, let's reveal another card. It's the Infinity of Darkness. You must either connect below or take two damage and connect to the bottom most revealed location. So I'll connect to the uh, below. And there's one clue, and a shroud of two. So, I think we, well, we can't uh, kill off the acolyte, 
so there's no point in seeing what that location is. So I think I'll just investigate here. Try to get that extra clue, just in case. So we're investigating, I get a zero, and I get the clue. And enemy face, nothing happens, upkeep, uh, we draw a card, and we gain one resource. We get the... I've had worse, so now we have a good way of avoiding lethal damage. And that is the turn. Yeah, I've not done everything, yeah. So let's go to the next turn. So we advance the agenda. Uh, it would have advanced even with this acolyte. So, uh, rejoice for the end is near. Each cultist enemy commits ritual suicide. Discard each cultist enemy in play and move all doom from them to Azathoth. So, I'll just place the doom from Azathoth next to Azathoth here. Then... The lead investigator must search the encounter deck and discard file for a copy of demonic file feed and droids. Let's do that. There's none in the discard, so we take it from the encounter deck. So just put this here and it searches. We get terror in the night. Uh, we're testing willpower 4 against 4. Uh, willpower 5 against 4, so minus 1 or better. Uh, we get a skull. Skull is half of the doom on Azathoth rounded up to a minimum of 2, so we fail it. So this goes here. Just put it here. And next we check the campaign log. If Gilman's journal is listed under Mementos Discovered, and it is, you are able to find your way. Otherwise, you become hopelessly lost. Each investigator must either move to the location to his or her left, or move to the pla placement of his or her location once to the left, placing any empty space in spots previously occupied. Location can move more than once via this effect. So we have the journal, so we don't have to move. And then uh, we have agenda 2, it awaits. Each location is connected to its location adjacent to it. Do not remove doom from enemies when this agenda advances. And we get the encounter card for this turn. And it is mysterious chanting. I'll just uh, search for a cultist. And we'll spawn it here. Because I think we'll head in there and just try to kill it. So, um, it has one doom. Then, that is the mythos phase. Uh, we got the investigation phase. I'll just first action move here. So we find the pathway in the void. Connect uh, first. After you enter a pathway in the void, you must either discard one card from your hand or take one damage. I'll discard the card. Uh, I'll discard one for your life. Not that necessary. And. We have an action, remove one resource from the scenario reference cars, move pathway into the void to any adjacent spot, placing an empty space in the spots it previously occupied. One spare round. There's two clues here. It's round of four. But uh, second action, I will kill off the acolyte. I'm actually using the zeal for this attack. So I'm hitting. Uh, 11 versus 3. <laughs> Auto fail. Last action. I'll use the meat cleaver. 
and I'll hit uh, 8 burst to 3. It's a minus 1, so we at least manage to kill it with the last action. And that is our turn. So no enemies, uh, we go to upkeep, uh, we draw a card, we get Peter to Castro, and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, here we are at uh, 1 of 6 Doom. We come to Cardis, uh, Ultimate Chaos. Test uh, Willpower 4 again. Uh, I am willpower 5, yeah, I'll just test it. Uh, 5 versus 4, we get an Elder thing, it's a minus 4. If you, your modified skill value for this test is 0, place 1 Doom on Azathoth, well it is not, um, luckily. We take one damage and one horror. I'll take the horror myself and take damage on Miss Doyle. And we failed by three or more. So this can search, fortunately. And Ancient Evil, so we add another two. At least it wasn't an enemy. Uh, first action, uh, I'll play down Peter Sylvester. And actually, now that I remember that I have this card, so I'll cancel these damages. And I'll take two resources with the uh, five hat burst. Uh, second action, uh, we'll spend one from here. Just switch these up. So, if someone is sure, tell me in the comments, should I shuffle this back and then put a new one, or just switch them around? I think I'll just switch them around, so to save time for now, but it's a bit unclear, the rules for this uh, empty space. Uh, last action, I'll move to this Cosmos location, and it is the Hideous Palace. It's a 3 shroud location with four clues. And at the end of the round, we would uh, add the clues back here. Uh, each void location gains action shuffle this location into the cosmos. Move each investigator and enemy that has uh, was at this location, hideous palace. Actually, never used that ability. And then uh, we are at the hideous palace, so. Only investigators at the Hideous Palace may spend their requested number of clues to prove to advance. And beware any investigator left behind is killed. I will uh, spend the one clue to advance. We get Palace of the Old Ones. Remove Cosmic Ingress from the game. Shuffle each location in play other than the Hideous Palace into the Cosmos. I will shuffle it in a moment. Now I think we'll have to shuffle those back. Each investigator at those locations is left behind and killed each enemy on those locations is shuffled into the top 5 cards of the enemy uh, the encounter deck. Take the set aside uh, card of the old ones and shuffle the top 2 cards of the cosmos deck. So we need to shuffle and shuffle. Then put them in play along with empty space as this depicted in the location placement for Act 2 in the campaign guide. In player order, each investigator draws the top card of the encounter deck. Okay, so let's uh, shuffle these. So I think, uh, because I have to 
put the empty space and stuff. I'll pause the video and I'll be right back. So I've laid out the empty space. So we have three Cosmos locations. So I'll just shuffle them. So I don't know where the core of the old ones is. And let's place them right here. So this scenario really takes up uh, table space. Unfortunately, but let's try to get everything to fit. We managed to keep everything in frame. And then the last thing we need to do is to uh, draw the top card of the encounter deck. So we get the terror in the night. Testing 5 versus 4. It's a zero, so we pass. Okay, uh, so that is the end of the investigation phase. We go to upkeep. There's no enemies. We draw a card. Uh, we get a fire axe, and we gain one resource. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at uh, three of six two. Actually, four because Asatot has a doom also. As I understand, they count two. That's uh, really annoying, but it is what it is. Encounter card is uh, Ancient Evils. So, uh, yeah, we're really short on time. So, first action, I think I'll investigate here. I'll commit sharp vision. And actually, Just be extra sure I'll hit it. I'll use trial by. Actually, I'll save this trial by fire if we ever get to the black throne, because there we need all the help we can get to pass the test or investigating. So, sharp vision at 3, so we are at 8 versus 3. We get a skull, so it's a minus 2. So, we pass by 2 or more. We grab two clues from here. Sharp vision goes there. And second action, we'll spend one clue. We uh, reveal the top card here, and it's a bad way to avoid. And we'll check correct in any direction. So we put it, of course, here, so we can just uh, check out that location across from us right away. Quick shuffle. Then uh, the, we have to must discard car from our hand or take one damage. I'll discard the fire axe. And uh, we you don't stay here for long. I'll just move to here. And it's another bad way in the void. Now we don't have a choice. I think we need to. Take the damage. So Miss Doll unfortunately takes the damage. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep. I draw Augur. And actually, Augur will be soon taking the place of seal so we have a really strong investigate for the black throne and we gain a resource so that is that turn uh, let's go to the next turn uh, we add another doom uh, we are unfortunately on six doom already and we don't remove any doom from asapot so, gnawing hungrily, uh, it's called this enemy commits ritual of sacrifice. Fortunately, there is none. So, the lead investigator searches and draws the demonic piping. Uh, so, we put it into play and it can search. And we get another terror in the night. 
Testing uh, 5 versus 4. Uh, 6 versus 4. I forgot we have heater in play. Uh, it's a minus 4. Uh, so we fail by 2. So luckily this doesn't surge. It goes here. And then we get the turn in counter card. Oh yeah, and it's the final countdown. De -de -de -de. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it. Do not remove Doom from enemies when this agenda advances. Beware, the scenario will not end when the agenda advances, but the Doom on the, of the world will be close at hand. And the counter card is Fate of All Fools. Uh, doesn't do anything at the moment. So then uh, we check. Yeah, before that we would have finished this card. Checked campaign lock. If Worn Crucifix is listed under Mementos Discovered, uh, it is not. Otherwise, the rate attacks you each investigator must test willpower 4. Each investigator who fails takes 1 damage and 1 horror. Okay, well, uh, we are testing 6 versus 4. <laughs> okay. It's a minus. Uh, Four. So we take one damage and one horror, and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Peter is defeated. We can't really kill off Miss Doyle because we need the cats. That's uh, unfortunate. Okay. Well. Mm, I think uh, first action we'll move back here and uh, we discard a card from hand. I'll discard the trial by fire and I'll use as a second action a resource from here and we'll go here. Hopefully this is the right way. And last action. No, it was the other way. Mm, it's the Infinity of Darkness. Uh, remove one resource from the scenario of Strange Scars. Move the placement of Infinite Darkness once downwards. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Well, uh, now we need to get right up there. And, well, that is our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. Uh, I'll draw a card, I'll get Lieutenant Wilson Stewart. And I'll gain one resource. So, nice to see some soak. I think we'll play him down, so we can take the damage from that uh, bat into the void and start serving up. And that is it. So, let's go to the next turn. So, we add another Doom. The encounter card is a world in darkness. End times revelation. If there is no doom on Azadot, a world of darkness gains surge. Otherwise, for each doom on Azadot, you must choose one. Uh, lose one resource. Choose and discard one card from your hand. Take one horror, take one damage. And that's one. So I'll lose one resource. That is that. Uh, first action will play down. Lieutenant Wilson Stewart. And it, uh, he costs two resources. Second action will move here and we will take one damage and we put it on Lieutenant Wilson Stewart. And third action we'll use one from here and Move the pathway into void up one space, and that is our turn. So, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get hope, and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Now we add another doom, so we are at three of eight doom. Encounter card is uh, Acolyte. We'll spawn the acolyte. Just put it 
down here and spawn it over there. First action, we'll spend the last resource from there and move the pathway up one space. Uh, second action, we'll move into the Cosmos location and it is the court of the Great Old Ones. Four shroud location with six clues at the end of the round, add clues up to six. Uh, each void location gains shuffle this location into the Cosmos. It's the same with the Hideous Palace. Okay. So this cultist engages us. Last action, so we'll just defeat him by using Augur. So I'm hitting 11 versus 3. And it's a skull, so it's a minus 2. So this cultist is defeated. And that is our turn. Uh, actually, I think we will advance. Um, should I? I'll, I'll wait for the... Because I don't have to do it at the end of the round, I'll advance during the next turn. Uh, so, that is that turn, no enemy phase, upkeep, we draw a card, gain one resource. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another Doom, so we're at 4 of 8. And counter card is Demonic Piping. So, um, if there are 3 copies of Demonic Piping in play, discard them and spawn Piper of Azathoth engage with its spray. So we discard those and we get the Piper of Azathoth. And it has alert hunter to retaliate. Uh, the prey is least remaining sanity, but well, I'm only player, so it's me. Uh, when the enemy phase ends, Piper of Azathoth attacks each investigator in its or if it, it is not engaged with at its location, regardless of whether it is ready or exhausted. So that will deal us a ton of. Uh, a ton of horror, and because we do a demonic piping, it can search, and of course we get a mindless dancer. So uh, we'll spawn the mindless dancer over here, the farthest empty space location, and well, do we really want to advance or try to? Kill this. I think we'll advance and go from there. So I'll spend the two clues. So, Nucleus of the Universe, uh, remove Hideous Palace from the game. Shuffle each location in play other than the court of the old ones into the cosmos. Each investigator at those locations is left behind and killed. Each enemy at those locations is shuffled into the top 5 cards of the encounter deck. Uh, so this gets shuffled into the top 5 cards. So at least we hopefully don't have to deal with that right now. Take all set aside black. Uh, take the set aside black throne and the top three cards of the cosmos and shuffle them so you cannot tell which is which. Then put them into play along with the empty space as decided in the location placement for Act Three. 
campaign guide. In their order, each investigator draws a top card of the encounter deck. So again, uh, there's a lot to do, so I'll pause the video and advance the uh, map to Act 3. So be right back. Okay, so uh, we still need to shuffle these cosmos locations. If, uh, one of them is the Black Drum, which we need to find. And one goes here. Goes here, goes here, and one goes here. So hopefully we can find the correct one. And then I think that is our whole turn. I mean the, the that is the. Did I do the check? So now we draw the encounter card for advancing. So we are at Act 3, what must be done. And it's the same as the others. And objective if the lead investigator is at the Black Throne and there are no clues on it, advance. So we need to find the uh, Black Throne and we need to clear it of clues then we can win the scenario, but first let's try to uh, survive this Piper of Azathoth. So, encounter card is the end is nigh, test willpower 1. This test gets plus X difficulty, where X is the current agenda number. If there is no agenda, it X is 4. If you fail, move each doom of each cultist enemy in play to Azathoth, or place one doom on Azathoth if there are no cultists in play. So. Uh, we are at Agenda 3, so I'm testing uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm testing uh, Willpower 5 against 4. Yeah, there's no help from this uh, Lieutenant here. So 5 versus 4, hopefully we don't fail by much. So we fail by 1. So there are no coldest enemies, so we place one to on Azathoth. And that is the pick of space. Uh, let's start by evading this Viper. Oh, uh, I'll commit the run for your life to the test. Uh, it's an Elder sign, so I will uh, heal one damage. Uh, the Viper is evaded. And then I will investigate. I will commit uh, hope to the test. I'm investigating, investigating 6 versus 4. It's a 0. Uh, we gain one clue, and the last action, I'll spend that clue, and uh, we reveal the topmost cosmos card, and it is Dancer's Twist. You must connect to the right, or lose two results, so we connect to the right. And, let's see... After you move to Dancer's Mist, remove one resource from the scenario reference cards, move to the connected location. So uh, we don't have any, and we don't have a connected location here. So we just get here, and there's two clues here. And yeah, this gets shuffled into our deck. Deck is getting quite low. Okay, and that is our investigation phase. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, uh, we draw one card, uh, we get voice of the messenger, well, mm, I think I'll take the, I'll take a uh, direct horror or damage. 
think I'll take the direct horror and one uh, mental trauma. And you gain one resource. And yeah, this uh, Viper is not anymore exhausted. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 Doom of 8. Encounter card is uh, Whisper Bargain. Pact Peril Revelation, you must either choose one, place one Doom on Azathoth, or Azathoth attacks you. Well, <laughs> I think we'll place one Doom on Azathoth. We can't survive the attack, unfortunately. Uh, first action, I'll play Ogre. So, actually... I play Ogre. Second action will investigate. I'll exhaust Ogre. I'm investigating 11 versus 3. Minus 1. Uh, we gain one clue. And then we'll spend that clue. And we'll move to Dancer's Mist. Uh, must either connect to the right or with the resources will be connected to the right. We'll move there, and there are two clues on the dancer's mist. Really hoping uh, <laughs> that Black Theron is one of those locations. We'll see. Uh, that is our turn. Enemy base. Uh, the fiber comes here. I will ready up and we draw a card. We get Ward of Protection and one resource. And that is our turn. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at seven. Uh, actually, we hit eight Doom now, which is mostly unfortunate. So we advance, really running out of time. Azathoth stirs, each cultist enemy commits a ritual of suicide, luckily there's none. The lead investigator must search the encounter deck and discard file for demonic piping and draw it. Oh, there's one. So it can search. And it is mysterious chanting. Uh, let's see. We need to get one uh, acolyte from the discard. I think uh, we'll spawn it over there. Then, uh, there is no longer an agenda deck, but the scenario is not over. Until the end of the scenario, room that would be placed on the current agenda is instead placed on Azathoth, and all room in play is considered to be on Azathoth. So, that is not good. Uh, Azathoth stirs. Uh, check camp and log if. Corn Husk Doll is listed under Mementos Discovered. I doubt it is. Yeah, no. So. Uh, creature recognizes you as well. It peers at your curiosity uh, curiously, and the circle of prayer is silenced. Remove one room from Astro. Otherwise, the creature barely notes you and the circle resumes chanting. So, uh, we don't room, remove the doom because we didn't have that memento. Then, uh, we draw the encounter card. 
for this turn. And it's the fate of all fools. Uh, peril, revelation, you must decide. There is no other copy of fate of all fools in play. Uh, put in the threat area and investigated with one or with another copy of fate of all fools. This in his or her threat area takes two direct damage or place one doom on another copy of fate of all fools. I will be warding this. We don't want to add any more doom. And I'll put the horror on this doyle. <coughs> and then uh, we go to the investigation base. Uh, first action I'll investigate. I'll use Ogre. Uh, we're investigating 11 versus 3. It's a match one. And let's investigate again. Uh, we failed that investigation. Last action I'll spend the clue. And let's reveal the top card here. You must either connect above or take on two horror and connect to the topmost. So we luckily can to the above. Uh, let's check. Uh, remove one resource so we could move this. And luckily there's no penalty to entering this location. And it has a shroud of two and one clue on it. That is our investigation phase, enemy phase. The Piper comes here, uh, we go to upkeep, I draw the Devil's Luck, well that's good, we can make one resource. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom and it goes to Azatop. Uh, we get an encounter card and it is a uh, Whisper Bargain, well we have no choice but to add a Doom to Azatop. And first action, uh, we'll move into here, and it is not the uh, Black Throne, unfortunately. Well, luckily there is no penalty to enter here, but uh, this cultist engages us. Second action, we will kill off the cultist, and I will use the meat cleaver. It is a skull, so it is a minus three. We are hitting hit five, six, seven, and minus three it is four, so we hit and kill off the cultist. And last action, I'll use Ogre to investigate. It's an Elder sign. Uh, I will uh, I will heal one horror. Just in case. And we get the clue. And that is our investigation phase. So the Piper hunts here. We go to upkeep. We draw trial by fire. And we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Well, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another Doom. And Post. If there is 10 or more Doom on Asatot, Blind Idiot God rises it's thrown in the ultimate void of chaos and devours the universe. So uh, we are at 6 Doom on Asatot, so we don't have many turns left. Uh, hopefully, we can find the correct location first. And uh, Encounter Card is a Mindless Dancer. We will spawn it. 
way over here. And first action, we will move here. Uh, the Piper engages us. Uh, I'll evade. Minus four. Uh, I think I'll fail that evade, unfortunately. Uh, it's minus four. I'm evading by five. Really should have played the trial by fire, but I was thinking I save it for later. So yeah, we failed that evade. Uh, there isn't really any point to evade again. Well, uh, let's... Oh yeah, and the Viper has alert, so I think I'll have to play Devil's Luck here. So I'll um, dealt damage. Uh, so we exile this and cancel that damage and last action. I'll just keep the Viper. Oh, it has retaliate, so I will opt to not do anything. So the Viper hits us again. Uh, we take one horror here and one horror here. And that is that. Uh, this guy hunts. So uh, it doesn't enter empty space, so it doesn't hunt again. And that is. Uh, the enemy phase, upkeep, we draw a card, and we gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And we add another room here. Encounter card is. Uh, the end is nigh. There's willpower 1. It is uh, willpower 5 because we don't have an agenda deck. And I will commit to say your prayers to the test. I get a zero, so we pass this, so nothing happens. And uh, fast action, I'll play the trial by fire, and I will up my uh, agility by five, so I'm at ten agility. I will evade. It's a minus one, so the piper is evaded. Second action, we will use over to investigate. It's minus one, we get the clue, and last action, we'll spend the clue. Get the top part from here, and it's the flight in Oblivion. You must either connect above or take to her. So we connect above, move there. And the Viper is here. So that is our investigation phase, uh, enemy phase. Sky hunts here. I'll keep ready the enemy and my cards. And we draw a card and we gain one resource. Okay. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Now we are at. 8, Doom of 10, <laughs> so we're really running out of time. Encounter card is a world in darkness. Uh, if there is no room on the otherwise for each Doom on asset that you must choose one, lose one resource, done, choose and discard card from hand, done, take one horror, take one damage. So Lieutenant Wilson is defeated. And first action. Let's move here. And it's not the <laughs> it's not the black throne, so I think we can't can't win anymore. We don't have time to run down here. 
So... Well, let's, let's still play it out. I think I spent that clue already. So we have two clues here. Uh, first action. Uh, we'll... Uh, second action, we'll investigate here. He was over. succeed even with the minus four and got it uh, last action I'll investigate again uh, minus four we fail And that is our investigation phase, uh, enemy phase. Viper hunts here, and this dancer hunts here, and it's in this phase, so it hunts again, so it lands in our location. We are at 9 of 10 Doom on Azathoth, so the last encounter card is Fate of All Fools. Well, how fun is that? I think I'll have to Ward of Protection that. Doesn't really matter, but. Uh, yeah, we have to kill off this Doyle, unfortunately. And that means Augur is also removed. Check our deck out. And yeah, they're all in the discard. I think one of. Th oh, yeah, there's hope. And yeah, well, first action. Let's evade this uh, mindless dancer. Uh, we're evading five versus five versus three. We fail, and we evade again. Fail again. Uh, let's see where again. Yeah, uh, this is the end of for Calvin, unfortunately. And it's a minus two, so we evade it. Enemy base, uh, the Viper moves in, and we die by horror. We have no soap left, and that is that, so Calvin is defeated. Let's check the resolution. So, each investigator who was defeated is driven insane. We record in our campaign log that Azathoth devoured the universe. Each investigator is also killed. And the investigators lose the campaign. So, that was the circle undone with Calvin Wright. Uh, it was <laughs> going okay, but uh, we got unlucky with the... Cosmos locations of this uh, Act 3. Uh, let's just, for the fun of it, see where the Black Throne would have been. Yes, yeah, so it would have been right at the bottom here. If we would have found that uh, right at the start, we still had Augur in play. And with Augur, we would have uh, got the uh, clues off of Black Throne quite easily before all of this <laughs> doom on Asatoth. But yeah, uh, Calvin is a really challenging but uh, fun investigator to play. Uh, you don't 
uh, you can't be afraid to fail with calving so because you really need to get some uh, trauma going I think that's enough of the <laughs> this video uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see some uh, special investigator in my next playthrough of a campaign and what that campaign could be. I was thinking that maybe I'll just do a bunch of uh, deck testing videos while I wait for the return to uh, the Forgotten Age and possibly I hope to get uh, one of the new uh, start the deck investigators play that with possibly Vinny. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching and until next time.